everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so if you was watching or if you have watched my uh, previous weight loss video you would know that I wanted to do a completely different separate video for part two so here it is um, I have done it um, as a voiceover and it is just a basically a realistic what I eat in a day when I'm trying to intimate fast and be in a calorie deficit but You'll see in this video I still enjoy the foods that I love and it doesn't have to be a chore to eat good and you know reduce your calorie intake blah 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 but I'm literally just going to stop rambling on now and yeah I really hope you enjoy. Oh by the way it is a voiceover and I've never done a voiceover before so it is quite laughable but yeah. Okay so every morning I'll start off with this drink and all you need is some honey some le a lemon, sorry. You can have lemon juice or use an actual lemon, it don't really matter. Apple cider vinegar and cinnamon. The cinnamon is completely optional. Um, I sometimes pull it in, I sometimes don't. I just take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And as you're probably aware, apple cider vinegar has many benefits. It's supposed to help to reduce blood sugar levels and it helps to aid weight loss as well. Then I think I'm going to take the lemon, yeah I am, and squeeze a bit of that in and that's also um, great for digestion. Then I just chop some lemons up and I'm just going to pop them in for a bit of presentation. Then just fill it up with hot water. And all this does, it just helps for the honey to dissolve a lot better. And then you just want to take a tablespoon of honey and honey is great. It, or I think the honey gives me the energy on my runs to be honest and it's full of antioxidants as well. So winner winner. Then you just want to stir that up. Add some cinnamon if you like and I obviously didn't get it in the cup because it went all over the side and the rim of the mug. But there we go. That is my morning drink. So it's about 12 o'clock now and I've just got back from my run so I'm going to have a protein shake. I'm going to use 200ml of semi skim milk and then I'm going to use impact whey protein in the flavour vanilla and I'm just going to pop that into the blender. I also didn't include much fruit and veg so I'm just going to take a smoothie mix and add that in as well so I can just get that into my diet for today. I'm also just going to take some weighing scales so I can um, be accurate on my calories else. When I'm being really strict, I will count my calories. You can grab these scales from Amazon, I think. They're really cheap. They're about £8, so they're really handy to use when you're trying to diet. And then I'm just going to pop it all into the blender. And then you're just going to blend it. It's so important to get protein into your diet when you're running as it helps to repair and build the muscle. And this smoothie slash protein shake was actually really, really nice. So I 100% recommend trying it. I also like to get about three of these down me a day, um, normally before each meal as it makes me feel a lot more fuller. I like to just add lemon and cucumber in mine. It makes it a little bit more refreshing. I've had to slow this down so I can get it all in. Okay, so for lunch, I just wanted something little because I knew I was having quite a big dinner. So I just toasted some bagels. These are the thin bagels. So I think they're about 121 calories for the whole bagel. I then chopped up a banana. And then I just added some wholemeal peanut butter. This peanut butter is a little bit less than the normal peanut butter. I think it's 88 calories per tablespoon. So it is slightly better for you. I have an obsession with peanut butter, honestly. And... Yeah, here's my epic fail of trying to spread it. It is really hard to spread, so please don't uh, mock me on that. But yeah, honestly, this is my favourite lunch or favourite snack or whatever. It tastes so, so nice. So if you're a peanut butter lover, then definitely check this out. Okay, so for dinner, I'm doing cowboy chicken zoodles, and you do this with courgettes and turning them into noodles. So you just want to get three courgettes, you can just get them in a pack from Aldi. 
take um, the ends off each side and then use a spiralizer to make them into thick noodles. But you can also use a potato peeler, but the spiralizers are fairly cheap to buy. I think I got mine from for about five pounds, so really cheap. And then you just want to turn them all into noodles and then put them in a bowl and set them aside for a little bit. Whilst they're on the side, you just want to prep your chicken. So cut it into strips and um, season with salt and pepper. You then want to take some fry light and add some mushrooms and the chicken into the pan. Just to add, um, this is actually a serving for two people. So just bear that in mind. I make all this for two people, but I always split it in half and take some to work the next day. So yeah, you want to just cook the chicken for about two to three minutes and marinate as well with um, some chilli flakes. You don't have to, it just depends if you like spice or not, but personally I love spice, so there we go. And then yeah, it should start to look something like this. Not fully cooked, but that's fine because you don't want the chicken to dry out too much. So you just want to set that aside whilst you make your sauce. So you want to take two to three tablespoons of butter and pop it into the pan. And then you want to also get some fresh parsley as well for uh, later on to pop into the pan. I used to just chop that up whilst I was waiting. You then want to take some lemon juice and add that in as much as you want. And then some mustard. I use a tablespoon of mustard in mine. So a chicken stock and then some piri piri lemon and herb. You can use any type of hot sauce that you want though. This is just personal preference and yeah, you can use as much as you want. Just make sure you're counting your calories. And then yeah, you just want to add some paprika um, seasoning in there as well. You then just want to let that simmer for about two to three minutes. Um, oh, I added some more hot sauce obviously. Well, not hot sauce, but... And then yeah, it should look a little bit like this and then you can add your mushrooms and chicken into the pan and let that cook for a little bit and then you can add your zoodles back in as well. So in about five to six minutes, it just should start to look something like this. And honestly, it tastes so good and so low in calories, I just can't believe it. But yeah, and then you can just add some lemon on top for presentation if you wish. But yeah, there we go. Like